Okay, the first step is you want to remove all four of the button head cap screws on the control box. Okay, once you have all four of those removed, you want to remove the control box from the hose here. Next step, you want to take off this male quick connect from the control box. Next, remove the barb fitting from the quick exhaust underneath the machine. Next, you want to take your new quick connect that comes with your accumulator system and screw this to where the barb fitting was on that quick exhaust under the machine. After you re Teflon tape, that bar fitting that was underneath the machine, you're going to screw that to the back of your control box. Next, where the hose was coming off, you want to take one of your length of hoses that was provided to you and attach that onto there and then put a hose clamp on it. Once the hose clamp is back on there, you can go ahead and reattach your box back onto the clicker. Now you can go ahead and connect the main part of the accumulator system back onto there. Next, you want to take your hose that's coming from the back of the control box, cut it to size, and connect it to the push connect that comes from this T-pipe. Then take the hose that's coming from inside of the control box and connect that to the push connect coming out of your power valve. Next is connecting your tank. There's going to be holes on your C castings and holes on your tank here. This will slide in. You take your bolts, go ahead and screw that on. Next, you want to take your other length of hose Put it to this barb fitting on your tank, connect it to the barb fitting on the accumulator system. We give it to you too long so you're able to adjust it and get the right length. Once you have that hose connected, just go ahead, put your hose clamps on there. And it should be all ready to go for you.